Hi, I'm Lucy James, and I listen to the One Up Gaming podcast. Hi, I'm Keith Allen, and I play Murphy on Z Nation, and I listen to One Up Gaming podcast. Welcome to the next generation of gaming yeah. with the One Up Gaming crew. With news from the week in gaming and just some random chat. Okay. With your hosts, David and Nathan, plus some special guests. It's time. For more info, please visit www.1upgaming.co.uk. Xbox One Challenge. Challenge. I'm King, you already, already know. know. Ruling games on PC, yeah. PS, PSP, PlayStation, PlayStation 4. 4. Play all genres, highest seats. If there is a leader's board, you can find a mod that no. would allow you no. all to see, to my, see scores. my scores. David and Nathan, Nathan, Nathan. reviewing the games for, me. games for me. That's why I'm so dangerous. See, their uh, tips uh, so good, uh, you, won't you won't believe. Keep playing strong. strong. One up gaming coming on. Coming it's the show on. you all have waited yeah. for the Waits not very long not go very long. To one up game and go 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 Listen up yo Hi, welcome to the One Up Game Podcast, episode 314. Me, David, here, again, again, yay. Anyway, I've completed my dose, course, whatever you want to call it, of my B12 injections. I've not noticed any difference. I'm still knackered. <laughs> Guess the four, five o'clock in the evening, I'm knackered. Uh, I did a stint of like four night shifts in a row, then a day off and four night shifts in a row. And now I'm going to do a day shift sleep, day shift sleep, day shift sleep. So basically I'll be going into work Tuesday morning and I'll be coming home on Friday morning. So I won't see my house for like three and a half days, four days, whatever it is, which is fun. It's always fun. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's why I'll apologise now. If there's news that happen towards the end of this week, I apologise it's not in because I have to record all this a couple of days early just because of the work that I'm doing. Uh, I won't be at home until Friday when the podcast goes live. So I have to record everything early get it edited, get it uploaded, ready to launch for the Friday. So that is that. Um, yeah, the One Game Podcast 314, sponsored by Games Inspired Music, uh, album. Um, search for it on Spotify, search for it on like Amazon, search for it on the Google Play Store, search for it on the Apple Store. It's cheap. And 20% of each sale will go to the Child's Play charity. Uh, we also have oh, our first 100 podcasts available from audiobooksontape.com. I'll do a check. Um, audiobooksontape.com, yep. And that is, I think, about nine, £10. And a pound will go to the Diabetes UK charity. So please buy this. And we'll be able to donate to the Diabetes UK. Um, last thing that I want to mention, if I can find it, here it is. Is we have the Evercade Interplay Collection 2. And we're going to give this away. So just leave on any of the videos on the 1UP Gaming YouTube channel. Just put Evercade. And once we get to a certain number of comments of the Evercade. So comment. And subscribe. The games on here are Claymates, Earthworm Jim 2, Clay Fighter 2, 
prehistoric man, rad gravity, and the braining. Is it the brain? I keep saying braining, but I think it's the brain is. It's a really small picture and my eyesight's crap. But anyway, Evercade, Interplay Collection 2, chance to win. Just, yeah, just do that and we'll find it. So I guess we'll just go straight into the games we've been playing this week. So take it away past me or future me, one of the two. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Hello, Andy, this is Colin. I won't be able to get in there, no, no, no. Hi, David here, One Up Gaming. This is the One Up Game podcast, episode 314. And this is the games I've been playing this week. Still got a bit of a sore throat, so if I cough and sneeze and splutter, I apologise. But let's get into the games I've been playing this week. And first of all, My Hero Wands Justice. And... Like a lot of these sort of games, I think they look bloody amazing. Absolutely stunningly gorgeous to look at. I just hate the way they play. I really don't like how these games play. And it's not just this one, there's also the is it Naruto and there was the Dragon Ball Z sort of games. <clears throat> they all look amazing, it's just, I just don't like how they play. ワリーが負けねえ。どうなっても知らねえぞ。この勢いで思いっきり味っけだ。あちじゃすまねえぜ。俺の道にいたのが悪い。戦うんだ。レシプロ。私も挑戦する。俺は卒へ。切ろ。今できる最善を。逃げ場はねえぞ。全力で。か
I had no idea what this game was, I just bought it because it was cheap. And as I was playing through, it's like, it's a side on 3D platform, so 2.5D, so full 2D as you're playing, but it's a 3D sort of engine. And so imagine Limbo and inside those sort of gameplay mechanics, puzzle heavy, looks nice. Uh, more detail, more background interaction, and <clears throat> I would recommend it. It's a nice game. It's cheap, cheerful, really good. And yes, that is Dreamscaper. So, next up, MotoGP 22, and I mean, what can you say, I think this is Milestone again, and they've me, got the annual franchise of some of their racing games down to a T, and MotoGP 22 is no different, it looks okay, it still kind of looks like a Xbox One or PS4 type engine, they haven't really updated it that much, in my opinion, but it plays nice, it looks okay, and if you like MotoGP, if you like motorbikes, it's a game that you must get, it's just really good, I love it. Who's gonna stop me? MotoGP 22, coming 21st April 2022. Uh, next up. Super liminal, liminal, super liminal. I think, subliminal, super liminal. I think, whatever it is, <clears throat> it is a batshit crazy, weird, warping first-person puzzle game where it really changes, it really freaks you out with perspective, with depth. So there's bits in the game where you got to pick something up. And as you're walking up to it, it looks like it's on a table, it's tiny. You pick it up, you go to put it down, and then all of a sudden, it like, it's just absolutely massive because of, it's like the depth of vision sort of thing. And it is just a, a really good little game, I'd recommend it, it's nice, looks good, plays well. I uh, don't want to go too much into it just because it is absolutely batshit crazy, and that is why the game is good. So next up, I'll talk about these three games in one, and that is Killer Instinct Classic, and that one is the original arcade game ported over to the Xbox 3, no, Xbox One it was, and it was like as a free downloadable extra, I could pay five, £10 for it um, from the store. And this is just the arcade sort of perfect part of Rare's original Killer Instinct. And it doesn't play half as well as I remember. It really doesn't. I remember playing Killer Instinct on the Super Nintendo where that didn't look as good, but it had the the fast, smooth new characters, new moves, new features. And it was an amazing game. I would love to see where they go with the new Killer Instinct game for the Series X. Because I do think that considering that the Killer Instinct remake, the Xbox One, yes there was a lot of goodwill towards it, but it sort of came out of nowhere. You know, there wasn't any mass sort of expectation of how good that game was. Uh, but anyway, that Killer Instinct, great game, amazing. Let's go! 
Uh, next up, we have As Dusk Falls. And this one is... Yeah, did I talk about this one? I can't even remember. Anyway, I'll just go for it again. It's a uh, kind of like a the Telltale series games, like The Walking Dead, that kind of thing. So like a point and clicky sort of adventure game. A lot of talking, a lot of story, a lot of expedition. Expedition, whatever. Um, and the biggest thing against this game for me is the actual art style. Now, Walking Dead didn't look good, but it was full 3D, it ran okay, it was a bit stuttery, it was a bit jerky, the characters had like proper thick black lines to make it kind of try to make it look more like the comic book style. This one, I believe they've, as they were making the thing, they've taken videos or pictures of the actors and doing the stuff. And they've like drawn, cartoonized the actual scene. And there's no real animation, it's all like. D- 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 it's just weird. Um, as I guess you can tell by watching the little trailer a bit. And, but yeah, I would sort of. I was so put off by the actual. the art style, the trailer, all that. It kind of made me think, oh, not my sort of game. But I actually started playing it, and once you get into the game, you kind of forget about how rubbish the graphics look or how the art style is not your sort of art style, and the story, the characters, the voice acting, all that kind of stuff, all pushes together. It makes the game really good. I really enjoyed the game. I uh, just wish that I didn't have all my prejudices about the game itself to start with. But what can you do? You're only human after all. Um, so that's the games we've been playing. So I will just mention that, yes, we're still doing the Evercade series on the Monday. We're still doing the Star Trek Online on a Tuesday. We're still doing the Worst Games Ever series on a Wednesday. Doing the Ridge Racer 6 series on a Thursday. And the podcast that you're listening to now or you're watching now every Friday. And um, we've... That we will talk about the Jurassic World Dominion. And now this one was better than the last Jurassic World get, uh, yeah, last Jurassic World movie. Uh, that movie I really didn't like. They're all in the house bidding on the dinosaurs and stuff. It was just rubbish. This one, I think they tried to do a lot more fan service by introducing all the original actors into it. And then you had like two separate storylines where they all converged into the the main story and all that lot. Um, Effects wise, graphically or CG wise, whatever you want to talk about, it looked really good. I really enjoyed that. It was an okay movie, just a bit slow, boring, ponderous, not interesting, that kind of thing. So yeah. gonna survive. What matters is what we do now. I could use your expertise. You coming or what? A baby raptor? I made a promise we would bring her home. You made a promise to a dinosaur? Yeah. Why? Everybody hold on to somebody. That can't be right. Biggest carnivore the world has ever seen. Run! See? Not so bad. And then the next movie that I watched was The Adam Project. And this one is... I've completely blanked on his name again. Ryan Reynolds. 
it's Ryan Reynolds and he's a fighter pilot person in the future or uh, something like that and he goes back in time to set things right so him and his girlfriend can still be alive and stuff and he goes back in time to meet his 10 year old self and it's just a stupid comedy but I enjoyed it, it was fun, it was enjoyable uh, Ryan Reynolds really good at this sort of thing where it's just stupid and I love that so that is that my god we watch too many movies so 2050 is it really bad it's not great find him get ready to run You know what you have to do. Stop time travel from ever being invented. Boom. What's your plan? Well, I'm not going to explain my plan to a 12-year-old nerd with it. You don't have, have, a plan. have a plan. But I know somebody who does. Dad. I'm the godfather of time travel? The Atom Project. We don't pull this off. We're not getting back. What do you say, kid? Oh, yeah. I spent 30 years trying to get away from the me that was you. And I'll tell you what. You were the best part all along. Get to be so smart. How'd you get to be so dumb? Nice try. So it's been me, David, One Up Gaming, episode 314. We'll have a quick break and we're back with this week's news. So back in a few seconds. Do you have trouble sleeping? Tossing and turning all night. Nothing you do seems to help. You're not getting your recommended six to eight hours of sleep each night. Well, now there's a solution. Now there's Fat Cat Fly. With Fat Cat Fly, you'll easily get the sleep that you deserve. Download for free on the iOS App Store, and you're guaranteed to get a good night's sleep with very few side effects, as you help a fluffy kitty eat all the junk food that he wants. Side effects may include sleeplessness and desire for cheeseburgers for erection last more than five hours. See a physician. Try Fat Cat Fly today. Visit Facebook.com slash Fat Cat Fly because you deserve a better life. So we're back. Thanks for waiting. It's still David, One Up Gaming, uh, episode 314 of the One Up Gaming podcast. So we're going to go through a little bit of the news. God, I feel as like I'm getting a cold. Do you know when you get that, that snuffy sort of weird feeling? Anyway, first bit of news. It looks as though Star Trek's... Um, I always thought it was Michelle, but it looks like Nichelle Nichols and Gene Roddenberry to have their ashes sent to space. Um, so Roddenberry's wife... Um, Majel, Mahel, I have no idea, I do apologise, Scotty actor James Doohan and VFX artist Douglas Trumbulls, Ashes will also be on the ship, uh, and Erase Passwords, some Ashes sent to um, James Doohan played engineer Scotty, also Ashes, uh, Tisbury's company, Rodan be joined by his wife. Mm. Oh well. So that is great for them. 
Um, I do think sometimes, um, some things happen and it's only right to honour these people because when you think about it, when you're watching some of these programmes, you, you're watching for like 10, 15 years and you feel as though you know that person intimately. So to actually honour those people in doing something like this, it's quite nice. So the next bit of news that I've got, um, Sony has formed PlayStation Studios Mobile Division to create games based on new and existing IP. Uh, so basically it's going to go uh, expand into mobile gaming. Uh, so basically it's going to develop AAA mobile live service action game. Uh, innovative on-the-go experiences based on brand new and existing PlayStation IP that meet the PlayStation Studios high quality standards. So I wonder if that means like nice graphics, okay gameplay. Uh, so it'll operate independently from the console game development. Mm. So yeah, I don't know. I played a couple of the Sony mobile games a few years ago and they weren't the best. But I guess we'll we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, so we will watch that with some kind of intrigue. Uh, I guess the next bit of news that I have got is the Xbox Game Pass Friends and Family logo leak and it teases a bright future of sharing. So basically, a leak of the potential logo of the upcoming Xbox Game Pass family plan has leaked. Uh, it looks to confirm that Microsoft is choosing to focus on branding this new subscription as friends and family plan. Current inside Xbox. Yeah, so it looks as though if you have the friends and family sort of thing, you'll be able to allow other people to watch or play your games on the thing. I don't know how it's going to go. I guess we'll wait and see. Um, but I do like the fact that Microsoft is really pushing the boat out on this um, sort of service. I've enjoyed the service when I'm playing the games. Because you don't have to pay the 50, 60, 70 quid for the games. You pay like your £10 a month for the service. <clears throat> and then you can actually pick and choose the games that you want. So you can actually get into some of the games that you wouldn't normally play. And I think that's really good. Really good. So next up. The Twist Metal TV series has filmed has wrapped filming um, of its first season and they celebrated by eating ice cream handed out by sweet sweet they celebrated by eating ice cream handed out of sweet tooth's truck uh, peacock twisted metal tv series especially wrapped filming the first season so I, I i i just wonder what the hell is this move uh, TV series going to be. I just don't understand what the hell. It's weird. It is really weird. And since then, will Will Arnett has joined the cast to voice Sweet Tooth? Ooh. Alongside Nev Campbell. Isn't that who was in like the Stabby series, the Scream? Might be someone else. Stephanie Beatrice, is that the one who's in 99 Precinct? Ah, um, oh, whatever it's called. The police show, the funny one. Uh, Thomas Hayden Churches, I don't know who that is. The Eric Andre Show director, um, uh, I don't know. Anyway, I have no idea. I'm interested to see what the hell this is because. I have no freaking idea. 
you know, it's just like weird. So I guess we'll just talk about some of the highlights of the Gamescom 22. So Gamescom 2022, biggest announcements, trailers and previews. So Dead Island 2, it looked okay from the, the sort of what I saw of it. Sonic Frontiers, meh, I'll have to have more of a look into it. I'm willing to give it a go because I do like Sonic, I do like Sega. Gotham Knights, I've not really seen anything of that game to, to make me think it looks good. Hogwarts Legacy, again, I've not really seen that much of the game to make me want it. The Callista Protocol looks just like Dead Space to me. The Dual Edge Controller, it looks just like the Dual Sense. Uh, yeah, so this is the Dual Sense Edge. Bloody hell, that's a horrible mouthful. It looks just like the Dual Sense controller, but it's changeable sticks and it's got back buttons and things like that on the back reverse of the thing so you can in first person shooters click things easier and all that mm, rubbish Street Fighter 6 new gameplay mechanics explained Street Fighter 6 looks quite nice this I saw a, a, a making of like documentary kind of thing of Street Fighter 5 I think it was where they were going to go from Street Fighter 4 to Street Fighter 5 and it was going to go like much more realistic sort of graphics, but they chickened out in the end and went back to the Street Fighter 4 and just added a bit more flourish with it. This Street Fighter 6, it looks more like what Street Fighter 5 was going to be. Uh, for Spoken, no idea. Uh, where wins meet, like, oh, I have no idea. I've heard um, Lies of P. It's supposed to be an amazing sort of game, but it's based on Pinocchio. I don't know, it's weird. Uh, Subnautica devs announced a Warhammer like strategy game. Hmm. Don't really care. New Tales from the Borderlands officially announced. High in Life gets an exclusive new trailer. Could be quite funny that I do like that sort of thing. War Long. How Team Ninja's new Souls like differs from Neo. I don't really, eh, no rats, no game. How a Plague's Tale Rats One was created. Hajo Kojima is starting a podcast called Brain Structure. Uh, it's going to be available in English and I guess Japanese. That's coming on the eighth of September. If anyone's interested. Return to Monkey Island gets a release date of September 2022. September 19th to be precise. Dune Awakening is a new open world survival MMO. Uh, AWE. No. AEW. Fight Forever is a much needed alternative to the mainstream. I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's re- Golden Age of Wrestling Games. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. Warhammer 40,000. Is the shooter 4K deserves? No idea. Park Beyond, uh, a park simulator that lets you build the impossible. Oh, that could be quite fun. Uh, Pentiment is the latest pleasant surprise from Xbox's most prolific games new studio. Uh, looks rubbish to me from the little picture. Uh, I don't care about that one. Golden Pictures Devil, don't really care. Recreation. So it's from the team who did that golf game and then they did a couple of those racing games, but they were really budget feeling. Um, used to be like the team who wrote from Crichton, I think Crichton, something like that, who did the Burnout series. So this is like, a burnout style game, but you, it looks like you've got a lot more functionality to create your own levels and worlds. Planet of Lana, uh, I have no idea what that is. Killer Clowns from Outer Space, it is a 3v7 multiplayer game, so I guess this is a three clowns and the seven humans trying to survive the night. Dredge is a relaxing fisherman simulator, no idea. Uh, some sort of chronicle, sort of role playing game, no idea. So, X GTA boss reveals more about his open world game everywhere, I have no idea. 
Uh, do you know what? I'm just looking through some of these things now. And yeah, that'll do for me. Um, so that's that. I'll have a quick look at the charts. Now, this might be the same as last week's. Um, if it is, I do apologise. Please bear in mind um, of all the work I'm doing this week. So I'm just quickly getting this done early to get it out. So, number 40, Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle, Lego Marvel Superheroes 2, Star Wars Jedi Knight Collection, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, Pokemon Shining Pearl, 35 is WWE 2K22, hate that game with a passion. Lego Jurassic World, The Quarry, Super Mario Odyssey, Battlefield 2042. Number 30, Lego Harry Potter Collection, Blood and Truth, Everybody's Golf VR, Moss, Astro Bot Rescue Mission. 25 is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Far Cry 6, New Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe, Grand Theft Auto The Trilogy The Definitive Edition, Call of Duty Vanguard, number 20, Xenoblade Chronicles 3, Super Mario 3D World Plus Bowser's Fury, Madden NFL 23, Mario Strikers Battle League Football, Mario Party Superstars, PlayStation VR World is at 15, Two Point Campus, Kirby in the Forgotten Land, F122, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, FIFA 22 is at 10, Minecraft's at 9, Animal Crossing New Horizons at 8, number 7, Grand Theft Auto 5, number 6, Grand Turismo 7, no, yep, yeah, number 5, Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, number 4, Pokemon Legends Arceus, number 3, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, number 2, Nintendo Switch Sports, number 1, Horizon Forbidden West, and thanks to Games Press, and that is the GFK Entertainment Software Charts, all formats. And that, my friends, is episode 314. Um, please visit our website, oneupgaming.co.uk, where you can go and buy t-shirts. Unfortunately, not this one. This is the old one with the logo. We've got a similar one, but with a new logo, which the print is much better than this. This one peels off quite quickly. The new sort of style ones, the print's much better and it lasts much longer. Um, we're on Patreon, so that's patreon.com slash O-U-G. Again, Game Despair Music out now. 20% of each sale go to the Child's Play charity. And the first 100 podcasts is available at audiobooksontape.com. And that £1 of each sale goes to the Diabetes UK charity. Amazon links on the site. Please click on them. It helps us get a little bit of money. Please subscribe to us or follow us on Facebook. Just search One Up Gaming. And our YouTube channel got 1,200 followers now. So please subscribe, um, share, like, comment, all that goodness. Just search One Up Gaming. It's the white logo with a couple of, like, just the One Up Gaming logo, I believe. And we're on Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash OUG official. If you want to tweet us, it's at OUG official. And if you want to email us, it's contact at warrantgaming.co.uk. And that, my friends, is episode 314 finished. I will say, take it away, Conte. I, I think it's Conte the Hero. So I'll play one of his videos now. And thank you all for watching. Please subscribe, follow, like, all that. It's been David, Warrant Gaming. Thank you. Goodbye. Hi, Justin the Voice here. First of all, we'd like to thank you for listening. Seriously. We really like it when you listen. Yes. But if you'd like to do more than just listen, if you'd like to help us out, well, we have an idea just for you. Visit our Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash O-U-G. Your monthly micropayment will help us keep going all night long, baby. Oh, yeah. Mostly because we usually record at night. Yeah. But don't worry, baby. We got something for you, too. We've got special benefits for all of our Patreon subscribers. Yeah. Again, that's www.patreon.com slash O-U-G. Tell you the best. <laughs> <laughs> My boy, say- about to go down.
Hey, yo, Kante, let go, I got you. Shout it, wanna work it for me. Watching that she's working for me. Clapping like you wanna hit it. Girl, go get it, work that. Super stupid, it, work it, put it, take it, girl, it's worth that. Loving how you work it, do it. No, I wanna work that. Shout it, wanna work it for me. Watching that she's working for me. Clapping like you wanna hit it. Girl, go get it, work that. Super stupid, it, work it, put it, take it, girl, it's worth that. Loving how you work it, do it. No, I wanna work that. She got a world star boot. She can be my honey, then. My low, can she go? I know she won't trip. Put it on the flow. Then turn it to a magic trick. Take that money, make a make it, show you can't get them tips Go to the bartender, the maker of the drinks For every suitor that you got, they tip you big They sloppy with it, but the money keeps spilling Ain't no problem with it, damn big If you know she big with it, I like a back action So I'ma catch a show, so I'ma sit back So I can do some more With a dance like that, I probably throw a bank bro. This is for the girls that know how to work a pole Shout it, wanna work it for me Watching that shit twerking for me Clapping like you wanna hit it, girl, go ahead and work that Wave, I think I will go surfing. Got a body jerking, seeing it in person. If I didn't, wouldn't believe the girls that she was working. Out on the dance floor, see her in a stance. Go further to the ground, I'm wondering what she weighing. Pants, for pants, pants, pants. Hot heels, you know every man. No time to appeal, sexy if they can go. go. I watch her wobbling, that's why my head is bobbling. Girl, you look so delectable, I think I should be gobbling. I'm gonna turn intellectual, well, I hope you still are following. Quit following me, Twitter to them, she's a workaholic. Yo, shot it, wanna work. Take it, girl, it's worth it.